be doing an experiment with the oscilloscope in the lab, I want to give you a very brief introduction to how an oscilloscope works here. <laughs> what we've done here is to take an oscilloscope apart, and this is the guts of the oscilloscope. What happens in an oscilloscope is you produce a beam of electrons which are accelerated from this electron gun at the back, it's a cathode, and they're accelerated down this tube. At this point, you'll notice there are a couple of plates like that, there and there, and a couple more plates just beyond it, like that. If I hold it like this, those two plates would produce a deflection up and down by charging them appropriately. These two would produce a deflection from side to side. So we refer to these as being the Y plates and those as being the X plates of the oscilloscope. Of course, that isn't going to work like that. We can't have an electron beam moving through air. So a real oscilloscope is going to look much more like this. There's the tube. The electron gun is at the back here. The electrons move down that metal tube there, and they're deflected by those plates there and those plates there. This is all in vacuum, and the electrons go on and hit the screen at the front, which is fluorescent. In physics terms, actually, an oscilloscope is an incredibly simple device. It has an enormous number of applications. What I want to show you now is just a very simple application where we're going to look at a waveform. We can turn on the oscilloscope and we'll turn on a signal source. This generates a signal. In fact, I've got it set up to produce a sine wave at a constant frequency. And you'll notice how the oscilloscope draws out this sine wave. In this case, we're using the X direction to represent time, and the Y direction represents the amplitude or the voltage of this signal. So if I change the frequency to that, for example, I'm actually going to 10 times the frequency, you'll notice that I fit in 10 times as many waves into the width of the oscilloscope. Um, I can change the kind of waveform I'm getting. With this function generator, I can only have a rather limited number of kinds of waveform, but that's a sine wave. I can change it to a triangular wave like that, or we could go up to a higher frequency, whoops, like that. Or I can actually produce a square wave like that. You notice the wave comes along there. You actually don't see the trace where it drops down there because it drops too fast then it goes, in this case, it would be at a negative voltage, and then it suddenly increases. So again, if we uh, increase the frequency, you'll see a, a wave which consists of, it looks like a series of bars, but actually it's going along, down, along, up, and so on. The oscilloscope's an incredibly flexible instrument. We don't just use it in physics, you can use it in biology, you'll use it in chemistry use it in virtually all of the sciences. We can even use it in really exotic areas like the search for intelligent life in the universe. 